take the, uh, the valve take up, the clearance take up. And then what we want to do is we just want to make sure that with, the, with the, I've got a uh, 10 thou feeler gauge here, that we can run that feeler gauge through each valve spring and it doesn't bite on it. Obviously if the valve spring coils are biting on the, the, um, the, uh, the feeler gauge, then we know that we're probably spring binding and that's a very, very bad thing. Spring binding can cause valve failure. So very quickly too. So what we want to do is we want to run this engine, get the oil pressure up, get the lifters fully expanded so that they're adjusted, they've adjusted themselves, and then we want to make sure that every spring has got um, adequate clearance just by running a feeler gauge or something between the coils of each spring and make sure that it doesn't bite on the, uh, on the feeler gauge. And once we've done that, we can be pretty confident that um, the lifters are not going to over pump. And, uh, and they're not going to keep compressing, holding the valves open, which has been a problem years ago, but like Jabiru, like all good manufacturers, they address their problems and they fix them. And certainly this being the latest generation of Jabiru engine, um, the lifters appear to be working perfectly. They're now using hollow push rods that, that feed the oil from the lifter all the way through the cross-drilled rocker arm, and they seem to be working great. All right, now I'm gonna put my head set on here my earmuffs and I'm going to run the engine and I'm going to show you how I'm going to check every valve spring for clearance. Now admittedly with the rocker covers off there will be a little bit of oil loss but it's not that much and uh, the test is very quick so before you make a hell of a mess on the ground you can get this test over with in about 30 seconds you just need to run the engine at idle. A little bit of choke. Clear. 